country diggers. I went out for a dump dig today and didn't find much and I was just gonna like edit it down to shorts instead of making a long video. But I did find this. <clears throat> it's a snowball four ounce uh, steel frame and it is an ice cream crank, okay? The handle does not work on it, which is a shame. I can't get it to turn, but um, it would have had a wooden handle right here. And the ice cream bucket would have been wooden, okay? Now this is like a, I think around um, possibly 1920s, 30s, but I found ads on it that were like 1907 ads. So it could be um, older, I'm not sure. But I was gonna tell you about the woman who invented the ice cream crank, okay? So stay tuned. Okay, y'all, I think I might know what this is. It says snowball, and then it's got, I think it says steel frame or something like that, but I think I know what that is. I think it's an old ice cream mixer. Now, I can't be sure, but that's kind of what it looks like to me. An old ice cream crank to make homemade ice cream. Now, I don't know if that's what it is, but that's what it looks like to me. Anybody got any, any other suggestions? All right. Nancy Maria Donaldson Johnson. Uh, she was awarded the first U.S. patent for the hand cranked ice cream freezer in 1843. She was a pioneer, okay? Nancy Marie Donaldson was born in New York in 1794. She married Walter Rogers Johnson in 1823, and the two adopted two children. <clears throat> the family lived in Philadelphia for most of their life. Nancy was a housewife turned inventor. At this time, men had control of virtually every aspect of women's lives. Finances, legal agreements, and the right to own property. With her intervention, Nancy Johnson challenged these norms and began to break down barriers. She was, she was a pioneer, all right. Together with her sister, Mary, she volunteered for the American Missionary Association. <clears throat> she married Walter Rogers Johnson in Medfield, Massachusetts in 1823. The couple adopted two children, Walter W. Johnson and Mary Maria Stoud. Her husband, Walter, was a scientist and the first secretary for the American Association of the Advancement of Science. She started as a housewife and later went to later went on to be a very successful inventor, which was very uncommon in her day. During this time, women's legal identities were taken away when they were married. According to the laws of, <clears throat> of coverture, women were not allowed to control their own finances, own property, or sign legal agreements. This was all done by the men. Men were looked at to represent their wives, mothers, and daughters. Johnson was a social empowerer and taught women of the era that they can make their own way for themselves. Johnson lived in Philadelphia in 1843, and when she filed for her patent for the first hand-cranked ice cream churn, her simple invention launched a disruptive technology that made it possible 
for everyone to make quality ice cream without electricity. Starting in 1862, Johnson and her sister Mary taught freed slaves in South Carolina as part of the Port, Port Royal Experiment. She died in Washington, D.C. in 1890. The family is buried at Oak Hill Cemetery in Washington, D.C. <clears throat> the invention of ice cream. Uh, ice cream maker. Ice cream was originally made using a very intensive labor, and it often took one individual hours to make. Johnson had invented the hand-cranked ice cream churn as a way to make ice cream faster and easier than by hand. The patent number for the artificial freezer is US 325 4A. It was patented on September 9, 1843 and antedated, antedated on July 29, 1848. The artificial freezer contained a hand crank which when cranked would spin and rotate two adjacent uh, board flat slates containing an array of holes, which would assist in churning the ice cream, making the ice cream more uniform, while also making it easier to remove the icicles in the interior walls of the cylinder container um, in which the spatulas were fit in. These metal spatulas were attached to this pipe called the dasher, which was attached to the hand crank, handle crank, protruding out from the artificial freezer, harnessing the principles of thermodynamics and enthromatic reactions. Hmm. Johnson's artificial freezer was very effective in making ice cream. The wooden tub contained a mixture of salt and crushed ice, thus melting the crushed ice, but dropping the temperature of the solution below freezing point as a result of salt lowering the melting point of liquids. This in conjunction with the ice cream solution extract, extracts heat, energy from the ice cream, in turning freezing it. Johnson was also was able to create the artificial freezer so that when using a border to split the machine down the middle, two different flavors of ice cream could be cranked and made at the same time. The artificial freezer was, which was the name of the original patent. It was possible to make either ice cream or sherbet that would last about 30 minutes. There were no electric solutions to keep things cool as the refrigerator had not been invented and nobody had an ice box. With these elements combined, it made it much easier to more efficient and less labor intensive for ice cream parlors to produce ice cream. Thus, a more efficient solution made it cheaper to produce ice cream, which in turn made the ice cream cheaper. This granted accessibility to the dessert across all economic classes, which previously was too expensive for middle and lower classes as the production of the ice cream made it too expensive. Johnson received a US, US uh, she received a thousand dollars, a thousand and five hundred dollars US during the course of her life for her patent. She made her final changes to her patent 
on September 9, 1843. Despite Johnson's success and future impactment, she had with the artificial she had with the artificial freezer, she sold the rights of the patent to William G. Young, a Baltimore native who then improved on the ice cream freezer on May 30th, 1848. Johnson sold the rights of the patent to Young for uh, $200 U.S. Some of the improvements included a similar internal spatula covered with holes. However, the mechanics of the handle were changed, make the ice cream much cooler, to make the ice cream much cooler. Also, simultaneously speeded up the process of freezing. Today, ice cream is one of the most popular desserts in the world. In 2019, about 6.4 billion pounds of ice cream and frozen yogurt were made in the U.S. Also, the ice cream industry has a major impact on the U.S. economy as it generates about 28,800 jobs and about $1.8 billion in direct wages. Well, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Um, that was interesting to me. All right. See you back soon. Bye.